Guys, do you want to generate certificates using automation and Python? Well, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. For example, when you go to a competition, the organizers will generate a lot of certificates for all the students. All right. Well, that's not an easy job to be done manually. So it's done with the help of automation using programming. I'm going to show you exactly how you can generate a batch amount of certificates together in a second. There are a couple of requirements for making this certificate automation program. First of all, you need to have a certificate template. So you can just have your own certificate template, anything that you like, any image. So here I just got one image which I'm using as my source of display. Guys, so now you have to make a certificate called the generated certificates folder. Basically, all the certificates that will generate using automation will be stored over here. All right. So the next thing is you have to obviously make a Python file to code the automation part. So as you can see, the main.py file comes here. Now the fourth thing is a requirement of our data. So you can get the names of the students as in this example from a database, from an Excel file, from a text file, or you can even have it as a string or a binary text or something like that. We can just read it into our program and code that. For this example, we're just going to use it in the form of a string that is going to be stored somewhere and we're going to use it, for example, in the list. This is the most simplest example and in the future videos, I will show you how you can access the names of the data from a database or from a Excel file or from a text file or anything like that. Basically, extraction of data, I'll show you in my future videos. So in this case, we are going to assume the data to be in a list. So we are going to assume some student names to be in a list and we are going to read the list and then program it. All right. So to begin with, you need to you need to have a module called CV2 that is computer vision for Python. You need to install it with a command. I'll link it down in the description. First of all, you have to make a list of the names and then you're going to make an empty list for now. And then you're going to enter some names of the students. I'm just I'm going to enter five random student names. Here. So for the purpose of this example, I have taken only five first names of the children. All right. You can take the entire names or anything in any form and you can extract the data from anywhere. I'm just using it as a list as the most simplest example to demonstrate to you. All right. So first of all, obviously we need to go over every name in the list. So basically we are looping over it, but we also need to loop over the index value of it. So we're going to use the enumerate function. So now what it's going to do is it's going to read, for example, Abdul, and that's the first item in the list of names and the index position is going to be zero and is as in Python, it starts with zero. All right. So first of all, we need to read our certificate template because we want to insert the name of the student in batch automation over the certificate. So to read the certificate, all right, so you're going to say template equals to CV2 dot I am read it's a I am read function I'm going to say the file that is certificate template dot jp this is basically going to be our file all right this is the same file of the certificate template that we have in our folder guys now we have to put the text that it goes over every time in the loop over the certificate file basically I have to put the name of the student in this case all right so we are going to need some things for that so let me show you how it comes all right so it is a cv2 dot put text so in put text, you have to supply some argument. The first thing is obviously the file that is a template that we are reading the certificate file. Second thing is going to be the name. Third thing is going to be the image coordinate. So suppose if the example, you have got some other image as your certificate template. So in this case, there is a certain coordinate where the name placeholder begins, right? Where the place or the name is. In your file, it will be something else. It's going to be having some different coordinates. So let me tell you how we can find the coordinates for the name here. All right. So you can just right click on it and you can open the file with paint once you open the file with paint you can just zoom in a bit and as soon as you move your cursor over the file at the bottom left corner of your screen you can see the coordinates the live coordinates all right so example in this example we're just going to fill in the main name placeholder over here all right so for example i'm going to fill in the only the first name so i'm going to take this place to be the center of the name because the placeholder so i can see the coordinates in the bottom left corner is 183 comma 176 Okay, so we're going to take those coordinates. You're going to just add one or two coordinates here and you're going to take them and going to fit it into our program so that we can fill the name on this. Let me show you how it works. So you'll get a better understanding. 187 comma 176. Guys, now you have to put the scale of the text. All right, guys, now you have to provide the text. So we are going to use the default text of CV2. There are some default text which you can use. So you can just select any of them for the example here. So you're just going to select cv 2hershey underscore complex as just an example okay then you have to give the font scale so we're just going to give the font scale of 0 0.4 0 0.5 you can just experiment with this value according to your certificate size of the placeholder etc all right the next thing is you have to give a color so here the color goes into the format in rgb bg or all those are basically the pupil values of the color okay so for red color for example if i want to fill red color i have to say 0 comma 0 comma 255 you can just google up the rgb and bgr color values and you can just try them in it okay the thickness so we're just gonna go with thickness of one just as a standard okay finally you need to go with the line size that's gonna be cv2 dot line underscore aa that's just a standard all right the next thing is now we have added 
the name on the certificate that means every time it goes to the certificate uh, the name list it's gonna add the name on every certificate file now you have to save each certificate file as the name of the student.jpg or .png all right so to do that here our image is in .jpg so we're gonna save it in .jpg for that first i need the location of the generated certificates folder that's the certificate path all right as i go into the certificate path i just need to come over here inside the cert generated certificate folder i'm going to press ctrl l that's going to give me the the file directory path of the certificate folder and i'm going to say copy all right now i'm just going to come here i'm going to say cv2 dot im right that means basically it's going to save the image over there and then i'm going to give it in the form of a f string and we're going to say like this you have to put again a forward slash because in this directory you have to save it all right now we have to put this like this uh, open and close set or a brace now you have to fill in the name over here all right and then dot jpg and then you have to save the template file obviously the image file that is of our okay now the next thing is going to be we're just going to print what we are actually doing in the program it's going to be the processing index okay so you're going to say print processing certificate okay and then we're going to say a empty brace again a dash and an empty brace okay now we're going to dot format it with index plus one and i'm going to say less length of list on of name all right so the, what this line does is that it's going to say processing certificate that is index value is suppose zero in the list so zero plus one is as it starts with one in the printing part so you're going to say processing certificate one out of the list of names is for example five so processing certificate one by five, two by five, three by five. That's going to come up, all right? Because you've got five names here, so the length of the list is going to be five. Now let us just run our test program. So as you can see, when I run my program here, you can see processing certificate one by five, two by five, three by five, four by five, five by five, and then it's just going to show done. Obviously, you can just print it yourself. Print done, all right? And when you come into our folder over here, you can see the generated certificates folder. So if I come into my main folder, inside that there is a generated certificate. So inside the main folder is a generated certificate folder and you can see there are five files that is abdul.jpg, akshit.jpg, harris.jpg, basically the student name.jpg. So if I open this file, you can see that the student name has automatically been filled in. This is just the simplest example. Now you can have this entire student full name, you can find the optimum coordinates and you can just fill it inside the placeholder. And then you can even fill the signature and all those things that can be done with the help of automation. Just that you need to understand the logic of how the program works which I have demonstrated to you. So guys, if you found this program useful and if you think you can use this somewhere in your real life application, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe, like and share for more future videos on such interesting and amazing topics. So till then, bye, be safe and goodbye. So till then, be safe and goodbye.